Today we're launching guidance for local authorities and others at local level of what can be done locally to take action on social determinants of health and to improve health equity. For me personally, this has been a wonderful journey. My whole academic life, I've been an academic doing research on social determinants of health and health inequalities. Then we did the Global Commission for WHO and we said to the world, this is what needs to happen to promote health equity. But that's for the whole world. How does the world take action? So I was asked by the Prime Minister of the day in Britain to lead a review of health inequalities in England. And we published that, the Marmot Review, as Fair Society, Healthy Lives in 2010. But it's still a little bit abstract. Yes, we want national governments to be busy and to be doing things on my six recommendations. But there's much that can be done and should be done at local level. For many of the recommendations, in fact, local level is probably the best place to be taking action to improve people's lives and hence their health. Public Health England has as a central part of its mission to reduce health inequalities. And we've been working with them to take the Marmot Review's recommendations and translate them into practical guidance of what can happen at local level. And it's this practical guidance that we are releasing now. And it goes across the life course. It starts with families, parents, good parenting, and the transition to school. In school, it deals with promoting resilience in young people. When children and young adults leave school, the whole question of being not in employment, education or training and dealing with that. For adults, adult education, employment and working conditions. And then of course the crucial question, given what's been happening to poverty in this country, of a living wage to deal with the issue of poverty. And when we look at places where people live and work and play, the importance of fuel poverty and of course of green space and environments for recreation, pleasure and general life enhancement. And we have guidance on all of these. In addition, we've released two other documents, one on the economics of action on social determinants of health and the second is lessons that we've learned about implementation. And what we do in this guidance is draw on the best science, but we also draw on case studies, examples from around the country of where action is taking place at local level through the life course in each of the areas that I've listed to improve people's lives and to improve their health. I think this is a wonderful opportunity. We already know that at local level, three quarters of local authorities have expressed their intention, three quarters of local authorities have expressed their intention to act on the Marmot recommendations. And now we're giving the guidance to make those intentions a practical reality. I think we are on the side of the angels. What we are trying to do here is to improve society, to create the conditions for people to lead flourishing lives and hence to promote health equity and reduce health inequalities.